Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please like and subscribe. I am That Connecticut Girl. I post videos about where I live in Connecticut and also uh, New York City. Uh, things to do and places to eat and sights to see and that sort of thing. So this video is very exciting. I have not done it before, but this video will highlight the beautiful beaches of Milford, Connecticut that uh, I visited just a few days ago. It's very close to my house. Um, the, the beaches here are beautiful. It does not get really super hot like you would see at a Florida beach, for example. But I hope that you enjoy. And um, if you have suggestions for other videos that you would like to see in either the New York City area or Connecticut, then please comment below and I will certainly try to make those. Thanks. So the first stop that we made was the Audubon Park in New Haven County. It is located in Milford, Connecticut, and it's beautiful. There's this nice wooden walkway or pathway that leads you down to the beach area. And um, there are a lot of sections that are roped off for the birds and the different species and their nesting that I do ask you not to disturb. But once you get down to the beach, you'll notice that it's just beautiful here. Right now it was low tide and there were tons of seashells. I don't typically walk on Connecticut beaches barefoot. The shells are abundant and also very sharp. So I usually wear some sort of old sandals or the water shoes that you can get at your typical Target or, or wherever. But um, we uh, were able to see several different types of shells. There's my husband, I think he spotted a, a tiny crab um, on, on this day. But we were, it was, it was a beautiful spring day, probably around the low 80s, high 70s, low 80s. And um, there was a little bit of a breeze, but not too bad. Also, this area, I don't believe that you can take like a tent or lounge chairs and go out there and set. I think it's more of just being able to walk out. But um, there are several houses, as you'll see along uh, this beach, that have private, sort of private backyards. And, um, no, there's the crab. No, yep, you see him right there. Um, but the, those homes um, do, or do have private backyards that lead uh, up to, to the beach area. The next stop that we made was Woodmont Beach. It's also located on the other side of Milford in New Haven County. I love this pathway. It's a great place to come and take a walk early in the morning or in the evening or really just any time of the day. It has a, a little bit of a rocky coast and it reminds me so much of Maine. If you've ever been to Maine, um, there's a Bar Harbor, that whole area. Um, it's beautiful and it's not as rocky as that, but certainly is very picturesque. And there were a few people out um, either sunbathing or just walking around. A lot of um, families with their children kids definitely like to play on on the rocks and um, you know jump and have a good time they can get pretty slippery we were able to walk down past the flag which was great and it wasn't too bad because we haven't had much rain recently but if you look to the right you'll see um, that's the uh, walnut beach area and also silver sands state park silver sands it's a very popular park it's um, a, a state park and you it's always very busy especially in the in the summertime i prefer to go to walnut beach it's for residents only and uh, as long as you have a parking pass you don't have to pay to park and there's also several little small restaurants um, you can rent kayaks you can um, rent paddle boards there's a ice cream shop, uh, a coffee shop, a pizza place that just opened. So there's several different places around there. And then so, oftentimes there's also one or two food trucks in the parking lot. So if you don't bring food with you, then 
you are able to um, to walk out but most beaches in Connecticut too I have found are not necessarily dog friendly I don't think that you can take your dog out on the beach you can take it take your dogs in to the area and the parking lot type of area but I don't think that they're actually allowed out onto the beach area but when you're at Silver Sands or um, one of the other beaches um, Walnut Beach and you look to your left you can see this big rock and the flag out there it's it's so pretty and for so long after I moved here I kept wondering like how do I get to that rock where that flag is and I finally was able to make my way over there but this is a great area if you're looking to explore different areas of Connecticut and you're not sure where to go I highly recommend checking out the beaches in Connecticut they are um, great there there's a lot of families there's a lot of activities I know Walnut Beach in the summertime last year they did it every Thursday and I don't know if that's standard but they do like a market so they have uh, I know there's a lady there that makes like skincare and chapstick and all sorts of things that I really really like um, I've been able to to buy several things from her and have even mail ordered other things they sell baked goods there's a lady there that sells phenomenal pies um, so there's just a number of, of things that you can get and it's and it's different and then they also do a concert series and I did not go to any of them last summer um, depending on my schedule I'm not sure how many I'll be able to attend this year but the concert series at the beach is, is also great. decided after we went to the beach to stop for lunch one thing I've noticed that's different in the north or at least Connecticut is that Mexican restaurants are not abundant and the ones that are are just not the same um, but we did go to Santa Fe which is a chain restaurant it's okay a little different than what we're used to but like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching my video 